YouTubers, what's going on? And Dollar with AndDollar.com back again with another one. We're gonna talk about how to write a good fucking rap song. Talk about it, let him talk about it, talk about it. Put it on the blog, let him talk about it, talk about it, let him talk about it, talk about it. Put me on the Alright, so let's get into it. How do you write a rap song? How do you write a good rap song? Shit, how do you write a bad rap song? In my opinion, I got a few different criteria that I look for when I'm listening to rap songs, when I'm searching for new music that I want to listen to, or when I'm listening to my favorite songs even. There's a few key things as a writer and as a consumer of, of music because I listen to just as much music as I write, which is crazy because if you know anything about my channel, I put up 400 videos last year in that ass. Anyway, it's a cute few couple of key things that I want to go over for all those writers that are looking for tips or you know you're not sure if you're on the right path or maybe you just need the the what are those things called the blockers on the gutter so you don't fall all the way off and go into obscurity so stay tuned I got a couple suggestions for you and let's get into it so number one and this is probably I mean I just don't think uh, enough people are mindful of this because it 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 does it so much matter for the short term i mean it does but not as much as long as you're hot and you can make something happy you can promote it the right way it doesn't matter in the short term but in the long term it's something that's important to me personally it's lyrics yes i said it lyrics i know that's not a word in hip-hop that we hear too much anymore but lyrics let me say it again look as a music listener and i mean you know people say they don't identify with a gender they don't identify with this or that I don't identify with a genre. You know, I love all different types of music. Sometimes I'm a rocker. Sometimes I'm a rapper. Sometimes I'm a, a folk artist. Sometimes I'm classical. Sometimes I'm jazz. It just depends on how I'm feeling at the moment. So I listen to everything. And the one thing that's consistent across the, the platforms, the genres, and all great songs have in common is that they strike you to your core with what the song said, what they're talking about. You know, I think it's important if a song called Fuck You then when I listen to it, I want to feel like, fuck you when I'm listening to it. You know, if it's called I Love You, I want to feel like I love you when I listen to it. Like, I feel like your music, your lyrics have to convey the meaning that they're meant to convey because that's how you have longevity. That's when someone listens to your song the second it comes out or when they listen to it 10 years from now and they still get the same feeling. That's how you know you did it right. So I say, number one, definitely pay attention to those lyrics. Number two, pick good music production if you don't produce or you don't have a producer that produces for you make sure that your beats have sounds in them and they're mixed properly because just like it's important to have a good recording and a quality mix on your vocals and your songs your beat has to be mixed properly too that's why when you go to sites like SoundClick or SoundCloud YouTube wherever you find your beats at Audio Mac I mean I don't know there's tons of sites millions of sites out there to find beats you'll always have the option to get the the untagged mp3, the untagged wave, and then they say the track outs to those beats. Well, the track outs or the stems, you may hear them called, it are the actual individual sounds in the track. So let's say you're recording and you're competing with a drum or a hi-hat or a kick or a snare, whatever the case may be. You can actually adjust that via the track outs, which is why they cost a little bit more because it's more professional and you'll notice as you get in the game or as you've been in the game for years when you start to upgrade so does the fucking price so make sure your beats are good make sure your lyrics are good now as far as we're going to get into the actual writing of the song that's kind of like more of a broad spectrum but number three when you're writing your song this is just my suggestion something i learned from 50 cent write the hook first write the hook first write the hook first did I say write the hook first? Write the fucking hook first. Look, let me tell you something. That's why it's called a hook. That's how you get them. That's how you get them. You know what I mean? You don't throw verses into the fucking ocean to get fish. You throw hooks. And it's the same thing with music. If you can come up with a catchy enough hook or... I mean, even if the hook isn't always... Nah, a hook gotta be catchy. Fuck that. Make a catchy hook. It doesn't have to be like a club banger type hook, but definitely make it catchy... I always try to put like one or two one-liners in there, something that's quotable, something that you could throw on a Facebook as a status or a tweet, whatever the case may be, a picture caption on Instagram. 
make sure that your hooks are banging because even if you aren't as tight with the verses and even if you feel like your verses aren't where they need to be you know you know you're not an eminem you're not a 50 cent you're not tupac you're not jay-z any of those type guys if your hooks are tight it won't fucking matter i promise have you listened to the radio lately if you haven't turn on your local top 40 station and tell me if you remember the lyrics to those songs or you remember the hooks to those songs. Anyways, moving on. When you're doing collabs, if you can, if you can, record them in the same spot. And I know this is kind of like a writing 1A, 1B type of situation because I want to just throw this in there or something I just came up with. When you're collabing with people, and you work in different studios at the independent level, one of the main problems I run into is recording quality. Like someone might have, you know, a Rode NT1 mic and then someone might be recording a USB mic. And when you put those together, I don't care what you're doing to EQ, compress it, whatever you do, it's still gonna sound like shit. So just a side note, if you're gonna collaborate, make sure that the voices on the track, even if you buy a beat with the hook or a verse or a bridge or something built into it already, make sure that the vocals are in sync, you know, and it sonically sounds good. You don't want one peaking or distorting when it when you turn the volume all the way up and one sounds good. Pay attention to those things. Moving on. So when you're writing a song and let's say you're trying to write a hit song, right? Everyone wants that radio hit. Everyone wants that big record that shoots them into the atmosphere, right? So let's say that's what you're going for. And you're looking for a tip specifically for that. Let me tell you, I guess my number one suggestion in that. Write about what you know about. Write about what you know about. Because here's what I know for sure. Is once I get on a roll and I start writing, typing on the phone, whatever I'm doing, however I'm writing it down, it starts to really flow. Especially when I'm storytelling. You know, when I'm telling a story on the record, once I write one line, that's it. The verse is done in like five minutes because I know about what I'm talking about and it's a flow. And that's another thing about writing your song. Don't force it. Don't force it. Don't force it. If you haven't written for three weeks or whatever the case, you're going through writer's block, whatever the case may be, don't force it. You don't ever want to force your music. It needs to be organic. It needs to flow. It needs to feel good before it sounds good. Because if it feels good, it'll always sound good. Think about how many songs that you hate when you're not in the club, but when you're in the club, you love them. Same concept. You have to be mindful of these things. You have to pay attention to the details. The small little nuances in this music game is what separates those who make it, those who make money, and those who never make it those who never make money you know all these things play a part now another suggestion i'd have for you is to write often now that doesn't mean write a full verse often but what i find myself doing a lot is i think of rhymes all day long so let's say i'm watching espn and it's sports center you know i might be thinking the more winner and i go to the street and i'm a more winner no beginner, go get it, full center. Whatever the case may be, like, understand that you can play with this and being an independent artist, being on your own, you have full creative control. So you could try a pop rock rap fusion beat one week and then go trap the next week because you have control of it. And that's why I say always write, just keep your, keep your sword sharp. You know, it's just like a basketball player. I mean, if Kobe took... Let Kobe retire, so that's just my favorite player. So let's say if LeBron stopped shooting every day, let's say LeBron took six months off, he'd still be fucking LeBron James, but he's not going to be LeBron now. We know if he took six months off and didn't do basketball at all, fuck no. Same thing with music. Same thing with anything. You know, you, you have to put in the work. And in this craft, you know, the only way we can put in the work for real as far as working on the craft is writing the songs, writing the music. And another Adding them to that is that songwriters get paid. Songwriters and publishers get paid. Not their performers if you're not touring. Let me say that again. Songwriters and publishers get paid. Not the song performer if you're not touring. So just be mindful of that. 
Be mindful of all these things when you're writing your songs because, again, it's a gift and a curse to be in complete control of everything. On one hand, it's great because you have the final say, you have the first say, you have the middle say. No one can tell you shit about it. So that's a great thing. Obviously, creative control, self-control. Who doesn't want to fucking be in control of themselves and what the fuck they do, right? Bad side of that is that you're responsible for the quality. You're responsible for releasing it. You're responsible for packaging it. You're responsible for writing it. You're responsible for producing it. And I mean, I record my own shit. I don't know about y'all, but if you're recording like me, you're responsible for recording it. You're responsible for the whole situation. And whether it goes or it doesn't go, it's completely on you. You can't blame anybody. You can't look to someone else and try to pass it off because it's on you. It's what you're doing. So I just really wanted to kind of go over a few things. I didn't want to get too far into it. I didn't want to talk your ear off about writing a song. I just kind of wanted to go into detail. I mean, not into detail, but just kind of touch it a little bit and understand, folks, that it is going to take a, a while for you to really, 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 really get to the point where you feel like, damn, I'm tight. Because if you go on my MySpace and you go on my Yahoo.com email account, cringe for real. Cringe for real. Like that shit was not tight, but I just stayed with it. I just believed in myself and I've been doing it literally for 17 years now. And here I am right in front of you telling you how to do it. Never thought I would do that. Anyway, all that's for another video. If you would like some more tips, if you want to hear me talk about going into detail anyway about songwriting, leave a comment, let me know. And I'll maybe do like a 10 tip, 20 tip, whatever. You know, I'll do a bullet point for everyone so we can really Really, 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 really go into details and I'll give you my actual songwriting process instead of just kind of like a general how to write a rap song, you know, what are some of the best practices and, you know, just of the like. So I just wanted to touch base with y'all real quick. I was thinking of that, you know, how to write a rap song because I was writing a rap song and let me know what you think. If you like the video, please, 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 please leave a thumbs up for your boy. I really, really love it. It helps the channel out. And you know, when you leave a thumbs up, I go outside these walls. I go outside these windows. I go right outside these doors. And because of your contribution, there are pigeons getting fed pieces of bread. You're saving lives out here. Make sure you hit that red button down below. Subscribe, 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 subscribe to your boy. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. I appreciate you. I love you. Stay positive. Spread love. Stop bullshitting. And dollar.com. Check it out. Hmm. Dude. Dude. Went from Pontiac to a new Ferrari Both it, two dogs, just a different glory You and woulda, coulda, nigga telling different stories On social it, media, it, just look us up <laughs> Talk about it, let them talk about it Put it on the blog, let them talk about it Talk about it, let them talk about it Put me on a